Last week, we got Hua Chung Sexual Tension City. This week, we got No Hua Chung. How will we survive? Who's gonna fill the sexy quota? Whoever could fill such a place? Click the link in my description and head over to Billy Billy Comics to read the latest chapter alongside me. What's up guys, it's Kichter. Pei Ming is so hot. What the f what? The purple eyes, the smirk, the scar, the face tattoo? What? The, hello? <sighs> He's also the only other male that Shailian says is handsome in the book. Hua Chung is missing for one chapter and the fandom goes feral. Can you blame Shailian? It kind of does look like he has a type. And not only did we get some good fan art, but we got some really good memes. And we get Lang... <laughs> LQQ Long Qingqiu Long Qingqiu Wasn't expecting him to be a cutie? Wasn't expecting him to have the cutest little tiger friend in the whole world? With the cutest little pom-pom in the whole world? He's got his little spiky bangs and kind of like a, a mullet? Are mullets sexy? We now get to see Shailian back in heaven and see how awkward it is for him. Look at him, he's got a stick in his hair while we've got all the other officials in their beautiful armors and stuff and he has literally a little stick. That is sad. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that makes Hua Chong want to go fuck up 31 heavenly officials. Also, we can't forget we have the Ling Wen face reveal and their Gucci bags. Their Gucci eye bags. Now, in this chapter, I think the greatest reveal of them all is Jun Wu. Will Jun Wu be sexy was kind of my biggest fear and wish. I really had no reason to believe he would have a mustache, but in my gut, I felt like he might. Surprise, he doesn't have a mustache. And surprise, he's hot. How are we feeling though? Let me know in the comments. Is Jun Wu sexy? Jun Wu also um, does not seem pleased. Something we have to talk about here is that Jun Wu calls Xilian Shan Le, which is the kingdom that Xilian came from, and also the kingdom torn apart by war and disease, and everyone he loved there died. It's kind of fucked up. Imagine you being a prince from a Russian town that had an unfortunate nuclear event, and he won't stop calling you Chernobyl for fun. Shan Le is not only the name of the kingdom, it also means God pleasing. So when Jun Wu, God himself, is called calling Shilian God-pleasing, it's kind of like he's calling him his little meow meow. What's gonna happen next? You're not gonna wanna miss the next chapter, so be sure to head over to Billy Billy Comics and read the manhwa officially. And one last thing is, if you're not actually reading the manhwa on the actual site, a lot of really good pictures get uploaded to Twitter and stuff, but a lot don't. Like, you're actually missing out on a lot of content if you don't go and read the actual comic chapters. Definitely check out the link below and read it for yourself. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit like and click subscribe down below. Also, if you'd like to help support my dream of doing YouTube full-time, you can click join to learn more about my YouTube membership. It's a monthly subscription that has perks. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!